What's up everyone, it's Austin here from Make Pop Music and Austin Hall Audio, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a Silk Sonic ballad like this. You stay in my mind just like a song I can't stop humming. Oh girl, oh girl. you got me losing my mind, yeah. Now you're in my bed and I can feel these feelings coming. Oh girl. <laughs> What's up everyone, I hope all is well. We are back with another video this week, and for this week, we're gonna be going over how to make a Silk Sonic song similar to some of their ballads like Smoking Out the Window or Leave the Door Open. If you saw a couple weeks ago, we already did a Silk Sonic video, but that focuses on doing really upbeat, fun, funky stuff similar to like Skate and 777. So this video is gonna focus on a completely different kind of set of techniques and tips and tools. And by the end of this video, between this one and the last one, you should have all of the Silk Sonic content that you might need from this channel. So we're gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you everything that goes into this project But before I do if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe It helps us out a ton and if you want to go ahead and support the channel You can head over to makepopmusic.com But we have one quick announcement and that is that we officially made a podcast So our podcast called the sound table is gonna be out on Monday June 27th It's gonna be the first episode and the first episode is just kind of an intro It's hosted by me and then Miranda the person who edits all of these videos the person who runs make pop music with me It's me and her doing the podcast and we're gonna have guest episodes we're gonna have episodes where we talk about our personal experience in the music business and running make pop music and producing clients all over the world so we're gonna dive into a ton of really really cool topics there will be more information to follow as we start kind of uploading episodes but if you want to check it out on Monday go check out the sound table we're super super excited we've had a lot of requests for a podcast and to be honest, recording the first episode was such a blast, so I'm really, really excited to get some guests in here and show you guys some podcast long form content. All right, now that I've said that, let's go ahead and hop into Cubase so we can start breaking down a Silk Sonic ballad. All right, so we're in the session. The first thing that we're gonna do is have this tempo at like 80. I feel like that's gonna be good for this ballad vibe. Let me show you what that sounds like. So that's gonna give us plenty of room to have something kind of down tempo. The next thing I'm gonna do is lay down some keys just because I wanna start with a good chord progression for something like a ballad. So I'm gonna use easy key so we can see exactly what chords I'm playing and then we'll go over that. It's probably gonna have some extensions like sevenths and ninths. So let's go ahead and get some chords in. All right, so here's what we got. Let's see what we got. E minor seven. B minor to G flat minor seven. So. It's pretty much just gonna do those. And then we're just gonna repeat that. So we're gonna go pretty simple throughout the verses. We'll probably extend on some of these chords and swap that around for the pre-chorus. So let's go ahead and actually get some usable sounds for this because I don't really want this kind of generic Rhodes. All right, so I'm gonna be using a blend of two different sounds for this main key element. We're gonna use this kind of contemporary Rhodes from Keyscape. I like that really shimmery kind of 80s bell. I feel like that works a lot and stuff like this. And then just to kind of make it feel a little bit more traditional, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with this kind of like una quarter from Contact. And that's just gonna give us some extra vibe. So here's what that sounds like. And what I've done is I have put quite a bit of reverb on this just to make it really wet. I've put some RC color on it to kind of make it feel a little bit more vintage and, and mangled. And then we've just got a shimmer verb to give it that nice, pretty kind of octave up reverb tail. So here's what it sounds like with no effects. And then with everything on it, almost turns it into a pad. And then we've got it like this. So now we've got that, let's go ahead and let's get some drums in here so we have a little bit of movement. I'm gonna be using our kit, the Anderson Pack, and I'm gonna be using the smoking drums out of that. So I've got the drum kit loaded up. I went ahead and added a little bit of EQ to the kick drum. I added a little bit of EQ and compression to the snare, and then I just added a little bit of EQ to these cymbals. And if you wanna check out this pack, this pack is available on our website. It's our newest, pack in addition. Um, it's on the website, makepopmusic.com. It's $60 and it includes the smoking kit and a kit called the 777 kit that we used in the last Silk Sonic tutorial. And we've got a bunch of loops and all kinds of really cool stuff. So go check that out after this video, but this is what we're gonna be using for the actual drums. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in 
a pattern that I feel like works, and then we'll, we'll kind of see how we're feeling with groove and melody. All right, so here's what we got for the drums. This kit is completely full velocity and dynamic. So we are automating a lot of things like these velocities for these hi-hat hits and some of these fills. And here is the drums that we have. So we're mainly writing on the i-hat, boom, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka. And we've got these rim hits instead of snares. We'll pull in snares a little bit later, but that at least gives us a good groove. And now I think it's time to get a bass line. Here's the bass that we're gonna be using. This is the Retro 60s Muted Bass. I feel like this is perfect for that Silk Sonic style. In the last video, we actually live tracked bass. So for this one, I wanna do something that is a little bit more accessible. So we're gonna be using this patch from Trillion. So let's go ahead and lay down a bass line that works with this melody. Now we've got our bass line down. As you can see, we're still kind of automating things like velocities. We've got a couple little slides here. And I'm gonna play this so you can just kind of hear how I program bass. I program it as someone would actually play it. So we've got these little fills in right here. We're kind of swinging things. And uh, yeah, it feels really good. This to me is like taking it right in that, that realm of smoking out the window. Pretty simple bass line, but it's really, really working if we mute those keys. And if you spend a little bit of time automating things like your velocity and adding those little slides and using something like Trillion that's really realistic, you can get actually a really, really, really good sounding program bass. So that's gonna work for now. The last thing that I wanna start to add in this kind of like A section of the verse is let's go ahead and add some glockenspiels and some flutes that just do a little bit of a counter melody. I'm gonna throw those in and we'll go over what we did. All right, so here's what we're doing. For the glockenspiel, we have this toy piano from Keyscape. There's a preset if you want it. And then for the flute, we are just using the uh, like contact factory, factory instrument. I saw Ill Factory use this when he did his smoking out the window breakdown. So works pretty great for that. So I figure we'll just use it for this. And I've panned the Glock right, and I've panned the flute left. So let's hear what those are doing. And with the drums in that bass and those main keys. So that feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's build this out. So I'm gonna copy and paste some of this. What I'm gonna do is go in and change some of the drum fills and then maybe add a couple little elements. And that should pretty much be our main verse. All right, let me show you what we changed. All we did was we added this little fill that comes in the Anderson pack. This was a live tracked fill, so this is a real drummer. And then what we've done is we've extended this. So these drums for the second half, instead of sitting on that hi-hat, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a ride and I've just programmed a bunch of different fills in here. That little hi-hat, huge Anderson pack fill. So if you wanna have a song in this kind of style, go ahead and throw something like that. Nice little triplet fill here, gives us that perfect vibe. So we've done that, bass pretty much stays the same. We kind of add some extra little runs in here and there, but it's all just kind of melodic stuff. It's nothing super, super technical. The main thing that we've added in this part though is this little piano. It's like a loop that I found in Arcade, and it just so happened to work perfectly in this key. Here's what it sounds like with no processing, just straight out of Arcade. And I've cut it out there to work with the percussion. And then we've just added some RC20 and some EQ. Just to give us one extra kind of counter melody element. So here's what the second half of this verse sounds like with that over top.
And just to swap up the vibe, I put in a real fill here. Live tracked out of the pack as well. But I just figured we'll swap it up and kind of see what we can do with programming fills slash mixing in live tracked fills. And uh, yeah, this feels pretty good for a verse. I think I'm gonna keep it at this until we do vocals. And then I think we need to work on a pre-chorus because what I wanna do for the pre-chorus is completely swap up vibes. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and lay down a drum pattern just to see if we can get some kind of crazy movement. And then we'll add things like keys and bass. So let me program some drums for this pre-chorus. Actually, side note, before we go ahead and we program the pre-chorus, I did just wanna add a shaker and a tambourine. I felt like it needed something. So we've got a tambourine pan to one side and a shaker to the other. Live tracked once again from that same Anderson pack. That feels better. Now let's do the pre-chorus. Here's what I've programmed for this pre-chorus, so it's gonna get pretty crazy. I've noticed that in Silk Sonic songs and specifically in anything Anderson Pack is on, he kind of uses these like really sparse, like long chord pre-choruses to go crazy with the drums. So that's what we're gonna do here. Here's what I've programmed. If you want, I can swap this to a drum map really quick so it might be a little bit easier to see. But here we go. So it sounds pretty complex. It's not doing anything absolutely ridiculous. It's mainly just putting in these like little triplet fills everywhere. So we've kind of went from a really kind of standard to now having and that to me is going to give that like super silk sonic -y switch up for this pre-chorus. Let's go ahead and let's lay down a bass line and then we'll see what chords fill that in. For the bass line, kind of similarly, I'm going to add some little fills in everywhere. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of use more of like a pentatonic scale where we kind of run down the entire thing. So this is where we're going to start extending some of these chords. And uh, let's hear what the bass line's doing. So we're kind of doing a rundown for the first half and then we're building that back up and that's going to lead really, really nicely into the chorus progression. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down the kind of main keys and we'll see what we're doing on those. So here is the progression that I have played for this pre-chorus. Take a look at all the different kind of like extended chords right here. Major seven, minor seven, We've got a few minor sevens, we've got a major seven, and then we've got a couple that don't have any extensions just to make sure that we're not going way, way out there. We want it to still be digestible. So let me drag that down to this main keys, and then here's what this sounds like. Adding those big kind of like chromatic run-ups, huge thing that Silk Sonic does in their pre-choruses. So now I'm gonna probably just extend this Glock and everything like that. Maybe I'll take that out, but I'm gonna add a couple more layers for this pre-chorus and then I'll check back in. All right, so I only added a couple things for this pre-chorus. I ended up taking that Glock and that flute out. I just didn't really need it. And it was kind of, you know, getting repetitive. So the main thing that we've got is we just have these really, really long crescendo horns. We had these actually in the 777 tutorial. They just build up really nice. And then we did this. This is actually a really, really cool thing that we've added. So we're using just a classic phaser Rhodes. And what we're doing is we're doing a nice little run down the scale. I believe we're in D, if not D major for most of this. So let's check it. So what we're doing is we're doing that. And then we've gone crazy with post-processing. I'm gonna auto pan it so it can swap ears. And then we've added a mod machine delay. This is just a stock instrument or a stock plugin in Cubase. Really any kind of like mod style delay or delay that's got things like phasers and frequency shifters, anything like that built in should work. Here are the settings for this if you wanna copy this. You can hear that it's kinda of got that like weird phasey vibe going on. And then we're adding the shimmer verb from Eventide. I'm using this all the time. And that's gonna give us that really cool, like chromatic bell rundown that you might hear in some Silk Sonic stuff.
Silk Sonic songs are really all about how the main chords interact with some of the counter melodies, and that tends to give them a lot of their sauce. So I feel like that's a good start. Let's go ahead and let's build up this chorus and we'll kind of see what we have. All right, so I've built out the chorus percussion a little bit. I don't want to take too, too long to go over this because we are already running long, but here's what the main drums kind of sound like. Same kit. So we have some crash hits on the one, then we're going a little bit harder with that hat and we've swapped to the snare. So no more rim, no more kind of light work here. And then we're just doing like cool little ride hits and crash hits on different accents. So it can kind of feel like these drums have gone somewhere. And then secondly, this is a really, really important part. We have a percussion section in the Anderson pack and uh, you can see it right here on the mixer. So we've got bongos, triangles, and tambourines. And what I've done is I've just programmed some bongo hits on this. Got a little kind of bongo tremolo there. That with the shakers and tambourines from earlier. Then we just added a triangle loop from the pack. All about having a little bit of movement and swing. And then I found this really cool effects that is in one of our packs. I believe it is in either Tastemaker or just the pop pack but it's this cool kind of laser wind down. I stuck it in the pre-chorus too. I've noticed they use a lot of those like funky psychedelic laser wind downs. So we're using that here. Here's what we have. And then for the bass, I've basically just copied over the chorus bass and we have this. And then we have that piano riff from earlier. We have these main keys. The chords stayed the same. What I did is I just ended up kind of making these a little bit more staccato and syncopated in certain spots. So we have like. We have that Glock and that flute coming back. We have those rising horns. And then we've just got a couple extra layers for the main key. So that same kind of top melody road sound that we use for the -da 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 -doom, I just layered those chords. Just to give me a little bit more width and space. And then super importantly, we've added these kind of strings from like contact session strings or maybe essential strings. And then they just have a little bit of RC20 to, you know, dirty them up a little bit. I probably could have used Mellotron strings as well for that, but that tends to be a really, really big part of like the Silk Sonic sound is having all of those kind of strings. So here's what it sounds like. But then really importantly, what they've used in a lot of their songs and we didn't use it all in the last video is kind of like this sitar noise. It was huge in the 60s and 70s with people like the Beatles and then it kind of really, really had a resurgence in like all of these kind of soul records back then. And I'm just using one out of Omnisphere. It's just the electric sitar. And here's what we're doing. It's not doing anything too, too crazy, honestly. Just a nice little counter melody. So we've got that. And then what I did is I panned that to one side and then I panned some horns opposite that kind of do a B section of this counter melody and together we've got this nice little like call and response. So we have that and then for the boom 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 I just layered over some long horns that are a little bit more kind of like crescendoing. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and let's listen to the instrumental for this chorus, and then we'll go over vocals. So that's 
gonna do it for the instrumental. Let's go ahead and let's throw some vocals on this and I'll kind of show you how to arrange vocals similar to like a Silk Sonic ballad. All right, I've added in some vocals and we're going a bit heavier with the vocal stacking and processing on this than we did in the last Silk Sonic tutorial because their ballads tend to have pretty big harmony sections and things like that. So for the first main part of this kind of uh, verse, what we're doing is it's just the lead vocal up the middle. It's not really anything super special. We don't have any like crazy saturation like the last tutorial. It's really just a nice clean vocal. And here's what this sounds like. Thematically, we just went with, you know, a love interest that you didn't mean to fall in love with that you kind of are falling in love with. So. I can pour you champagne in the morning. Versace on your sheets, keep you nice and warm, yeah. Fly you first class, we can go exploring. Just promise me that you won't get no feelings for me. Lane. So we've kind of got like A, 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 B in terms of just melodic structure, which I find that they kind of do a lot. So that'll be for that. Let's go to where we start stacking up things, where we swap that hi-hat to the ride, where we swap that rim to the snare, add those shakers. This is where we have like a really, really big change in the vocals. So here we've got our lead vocal that is doing most of the work. Here's what it sounds like with just that. And then what we're doing for this is throughout pretty much the rest of the song, I have triple tracked everything for the main melody. So we have the lead and then left and right. You stay in my mind just like a song. I can't stop humming. Oh girl, you got me losing my mind. Yeah. And then I just do some of those cool little like ad libs on the backside of that. And then we've also tracked the lower octave doubled and panned out. You stay in my mind just like a song I can't stop humming oh. And then we're pulling in our first harmony, so we've got You stay in my mind just like a song I can't stop humming oh. And in the mix, all of those together Let's go ahead and go over some of their uses of like delay throws. So we have that whoa girl. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a cool little eighth flanger. We basically have just copied that lead chain right here. And then what we're doing is we have Comeback Kid from Baby Audio on 100% wet. So we've just taken the dry out completely down. One eighth, here's some of my settings, taking out some low end, taking out some high end, adding some like cool little tapes and swirls and things like that. Then we've got a pretty long reverb, like four seconds concert hole. Pretty much just the standard as you load vintage verb. And then I'm adding a flanger, and this is set to like 25, 28% mix. And all of those cool things just kind of give us this really nice, like psychedelic 70s soul delay throw. Man, oh girl, you got me losing my mind, yeah. And then I did something similar, and I just made it a quarter note instead of an eighth note, and then filtered it out because with a quarter note, it was getting a little bit muddy and washy. So. Here's what we have now with those those little kind of throws and things like that. You stay in my mind just like a song I can't stop humming. Oh girl, you got me losing my mind, yeah. Now you're in my bed and I can feel these feelings coming. Oh girl. And that's pretty much it for the verses. Let's go to the pre-chorus. It's the same thing. We've just got lead vocal up the middle, lead vocal left, lead vocal right, low vocal left, low vocal right, harmony left, harmony right, and then some of these like delay throws in here. So we've got those cool like soul style stacks, and then we've got just the traditional Anderson Pack Silk Sonic ad lib. This basically is just like a super run-of-the-mill vocal chain with a bunch of decapitator on it, and then we're sending it out to a stereo eighth delay pretty hard. Oh girl, oh girl I know, I that's know. why. why, why, why. And just panned it on one side. Now we're going into the chorus where we have all of the same vocal layers that we had before, but we've also added a second harmony that's double tracked right and left. You got my knees weak, how can I speak? Will you just take my breath from me? 
So we've got that. And then of course we have to have some like call and response ad libs on the end. So we've got these, same as the main vocal track, I've just added the dual harmonizer from Eventide. All of the Eventide stuff is super, super, super great. And a lot of it works really, really well for this kind of like funky psychedelic stuff. And we're just doing this on the back end. So let me play the whole chorus so you can kind of see. So again, on this back half, we just have some of these like response. Oh baby. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that is the whole song. That's all we're gonna do for this video. If you want, I'll give you a quick listen through so you can kind of hear it. And then after that, we will wrap it up. So here's how to make a Silk Sonic ballad. I can pour you champagne in the morning. Versace on your sheets, keep you nice and warm, yeah. Are you first class? We can go exploring. Just promise me that you won't get no feelings for me. Late night at Beverly. We got the suite, and I know you shared the bed with me. Got nothing on except your diamonds looking heavenly. Harder, harder. We can take it steadily. You stay in my mind just like a song. I can't stop humming. Oh, girl, you got me losing. And there we have it. That's pretty much everything that goes into making a Silk Sonic ballad. As you can see, it's a totally different mindset than the last Silk Sonic song that we had, but I had a great time doing this. It's really just about finding cool chord combinations and figuring out how to kind of make some rhythms that feel a little bit more interesting than just kind of your standard, you know, kick, snare, hi-hat, kick, snare, hi-hat. So I had a really, really good time doing this. Hopefully between this video and the last video, you kind of know what sounds and what keys and what kind of vibes that you need to be having if you want to go this kind of Neo Soul, Silk Sonic, R&B, funk route, but we've had a really, really good time doing it. Thanks for everybody who recommended this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out a ton. If you want to support the channel, head over to makepopmusic.com. And once again, if you want to listen to our podcast, The Sound Table, that is going to be out Monday, June 27th. So if you're watching this anytime after that, go check that out. There will be a link in the description. But that's going to do it for this week. We'll be back next week with much more content. And until then, everyone, much love, peace. <laughs>